What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today GM finally dropped the order list for their 2021 Corvette C8. Now why is this important? Well first because many people who ordered the 2020 Corvettes have been pushed back to a 2021 model. I know so many people have been upset by this news but if you are watching this video right now and do fall into that camp just hang on a little bit longer. The car is more than worth it. And the second reason it's important to check out the 2021 order list is because there have been some major changes that have happened. So let's jump on in and check it all out. Now, as you can see, checking out this new price list that I've thrown up, the trim level pricing has not changed. And I really do think that that's a great thing. Many people thought that pricing would go up on all of the different items or the options going into this following year, but I really do think that with the crazy mess that's been created by COVID-19, it does seem GM has for the most part remained understanding, especially because so many less Corvettes were built this year than were originally planned. Now to be honest with you, I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to make this video. I really didn't want to just go over all the different options because most of them are the same, a lot of things haven't changed, and many people are already well aware of them. So to keep this video fairly simple, let's just go through the major changes that have happened in the ordering options along with what options that did increase in pricing. Now the very first major price change is the Z51 package, and that jumped from $5,000 to $5,995. It's almost another thousand bucks. In all honesty, this really doesn't surprise me at all though, because the Z51 was a very popular item, so GM's well aware that those who really want this item will be more than happy to pay the upcharge for it. We all do have to remember the C8 Corvette is an incredible value and at $60,000 base, it has some incredible options and they are hard to pass up on, but this is where GM really wants to get you. The margins are so much higher on those items. Now, with that being said, the increase in Z51 pricing did give you more flexibility in that you don't have to have the Z51 package to now get magnetic ride control. And people, this really is a huge thing. For anyone following my channel, you know that I am a huge advocate for the magnetic control ride system. I think it's absolutely worth its price, but having to buy the Z51 package was a steep deal. And honestly, as great as the Z51 is, and I have it on my car, most people just don't need it. I made a video all about this, and you can go check it out. I made it a while back, but you just most likely are not going to need it. If you don't plan on really tracking the car, then what you're doing is for the most part adding unneeded cost. Sure, you will be able to probably recoup some of that cost when you go to sell it, but you're not going to make any money by adding that option to your current build out. Checking out the order sheet, we can now see you have FE2 option, which is MagRide without Z51, or the FE4 option, which is Z51 performance suspension with magnetic ride control. And you can see that pricing for the suspension system did not go up, and at $1,895, I honestly think it's a huge win for most people. And I would venture to guess that it will be a very popular combination, and that is skipping the Z51 and just adding regular magnetic ride control. If you are on the fence, you know what I would do. Moving along from there, you will see that they've added the new red mist color to the order guide for 2021. Coming in at $995, it's normally priced compared to the other premium paint colors that GM offers for the C8. Now, many of you have probably already seen this new color, but I'm going to go ahead and throw a picture of it up on the screen. And I have to say, I do really like it. It has that deeper, rich red, unlike the kind of Ferrari red that Torch Red gives off. And as cool as Red Mist is, I personally love my Torch Red color. The color just pops even under every different lighting condition, and it gets so many looks and compliments. But I do guess maybe that's partially from the new mid-engine design as well. The next item that we can check out is the engine covers. They jumped by a whopping $30, and I do think though that $550 for a painted engine cover, and whether it be red or silver, is overly expensive, but I also have to admit that a black stock engine cover for the C8, it just doesn't do it for me. 
I love the look through that back glass. It's a huge thing that I love about the Corvette C8 compared like to my R8. I love that they both have that, but the black cover just really seems bland and it doesn't help break up the engine bay look. Every time I'm looking back there, I've got even the carbon fiber upgrade to package back there, but it's just everything's black and dull and red certainly would do it for me. It would give you that extra extra pizzazz that a lot of people I think are looking for. So many of you probably are willing to pay the upgraded price or maybe you could look at a carbon fiber one that is possibly coming out in the near future. So make sure you have that bell notification hit. I'm just saying. And speaking of carbon, the mirror covers are an extra hundred bucks this year, bringing the total up to $1,245 if you really want them. Yeah, in case you didn't notice, carbon still ain't cheap. And I personally passed on all the exterior carbon because it added so much cost. My original build was over a hundred grand, so I stripped all of the carbon. And I know for a fact that there is aftermarket carbon coming. And a lot of times it's just as good, maybe even better. And it, for a lower price. It's still not gonna be cheap. Carbon fiber, regardless of where you get it, if it's genuine, is not going to be cheap, but aftermarket is never a bad choice. Also, I love the carbon flash look of my mirrors. They're perfect just how they are, and they're not an expensive upgrade, but if you do want carbon, they do help add that extra touch of exotic on the outside of the car. Continuing along, we have a price jump on the black Trident wheels that GM offers. It's increasing from $2,695 to $2,895, and GM is hoping to sell you even more overpriced, okay-looking wheels. Now, if you couldn't tell, this is a bit of a sore subject for me. I mean, GM built this incredible new Corvette. And then they offered us wheels that looked like someone really needed to come up and finalize the wheel design for the C8 on a Friday afternoon before the weekend. I mean, seriously, wheels can absolutely make it or break it for the look of a car. And so having such poor choices is a really big letdown and probably one of the biggest e issues for the C8 for me. I know I'm not alone in this, but maybe some people don't agree. The black Trident wheels certainly do look the best, but anything does compared to just the five spoke basic design that the car comes with. And I had to pay $995 for mine to be painted carbon flash. Now I explained in a different video why I did that. I needed two sets of wheels. I wouldn't have done that anyways. I do suggest aftermarket for most people. I think that's your best option, but I know some people don't like that option or route. So just so you know, the Tridents are an extra $200 this year if you want them in black. I guess now is a good time though to let you all know that I have ordered brand new wheels and they will be coming this following month. I cannot wait to share the new look of my car with you all. Finally, we wrap up with the final item that has increased in price for the 2021 Corvette C8, and that is the front lift system, and it's increased by $500 over the previous year. Now priced at $1,995 for the option, I do only have one thought on this. It is absolutely worth every penny, even the extra 50,000 pennies. This obviously is my opinion and some people may not share it with me, but this system works flawlessly and it will pay for itself several times over on that day that you find yourself in a really tough position and need it. The GPS on it is so cool. I never have to hit the button really almost anymore because I've set it in most of the areas that I normally drive and it just lifts on its own. Half the time you don't even remember it's happening and it just makes life so much easier. I do know two grand seems a bit steep, but honestly it's not. I mean, go look at the front end lift systems for Lamborghinis. GM is really giving you that respectable pricing even on this premium option. Also, you can save a thousand different locations, and I'm fairly certain you're never gonna use all of those, but if someone does, please let me know so I can ask you how. So there you have it everyone, a complete list of the items that have increased over the previous model year. I am human, so if I missed anything, please drop them in the comments below and I will add them into my pinned comment. For anyone new to the channel, please take a moment to think about subscribing. I have some incredible content coming out over the coming weeks with my 2020 Corvette C8 and I cannot wait to share it with you all. 
As I mentioned earlier, make sure you do have your bell notification hit as YouTube feels like subscribing isn't enough to share my videos with all of my subs. Also, if you did enjoy it, please help support my channel and hit that thumbs up. It helps more than I can explain. You all take care, and as always, I'll see you next video.